All righty, here we go. I am on Round Top Drive, where we've got the roads clo the road closed here, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be heading back. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up Gate Park. Haven't been there in a while. Usually I don't go there because I think I go there enough trying to take visitors up. You know, when was the last time you went to your state park alone? Not very frequently, I'll bet. So, but I'll go up there. I, I, I want to take a video. And that's the thing of going alone. Uh, that's the thing when you're taking a video and you're doing narration. You want to go alone because, you know, you don't have to worry about your... You don't have to worry about your passenger. Oh yeah, I've been down here. This place, um, this place has been for sale for the longest time, and it hasn't, uh, hasn't sold. Let's go check it out here. Danger! Do that. This is the bounce thing I'm telling you about. You can bounce the bike by compression the shock and holding the front brake and pushing the bike uphill backwards. Very unconventional. <laughs> I learned that from mountain biking. <sighs> okay, here's what we'll do. This is where it gets a little risky. Yeah, whatever. Whoa, 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 this bike wants to tip over. Not good. Still wants to tip over. Whatever. Okay, keep out, no trespassing. Sit in county. Oh! Did this place get repossessed? Huh. I wonder if this is that foreclosure property where they couldn't get a permit to build and uh, basically the, the city wouldn't issue them a permit and they, and they couldn't sell the property and they went, they underwent a foreclosure. Huh. Let's see, uh, since nobody's around. I'm going to make this a little adventure here. So this is an abandoned property. Well, maybe not. It's, it's not abandoned. Maybe it's just... Oh well, yeah, it is abandoned. Shit, there's nobody living in here. This property is fixed up. I'm, let me tell you. This property is, you know, you put in like a good two three hundred thousand into it and you fix it up man you could ask for maybe three million or so because it's only one like it over here basically you're calling the shots but i think maybe they didn't work it because it it costs too much you've got all this rebar you need to run sewage the sewage is busted there's Maybe you could run electricity. Electricity might be easier. But sewage, bad news. Interestingly enough, one of my co-workers from a long time ago rented this place when it was, um, I'm talking long, a long time ago, maybe a decade ago. He had rented this place. And yeah, he was paying like crazy rent. I forgot what it was, but he was bringing in a lot of cash. And... He said he, he was just in love with this place. Yeah, look at that, man. I guess they were building. You could see the rebar being pulled. And I guess they were building this place. And somehow they went bankrupt, ran out of money or, or something. Because when you see rebar like that and concrete, it's it's a work in progress. It's not like it's it was it was built and then broken. It was just built and then there was a stop work order or something and it killed it. 
but you could tell that based on the construction with the rebar being pulled they were going to build something pretty big I mean this this place gosh a place this big probably could have commanded who knows how much maybe even a lot more than three million maybe ten because uh, there's only one like it all the way up here I mean there's other buildings here other places that you can't see through here but yeah these guys would have really had had it good it's that one right there I can see that can I see that let's see that house has got a little neat little courtyard that's pretty cool and then right here let me see yeah right there that little that little pointed building that brown one what in the world is that that's the University of Hawaii yeah okay okay so there's this uh, right here where my finger is right there that's that's the that's one of the medical buildings I think that's the medical building and then as we go along right finger model okay right here you have the it's the UH dome it, it's a sports dome sports arena and then right here you have a baseball field I forget what the name of the field was I'm just not into sports and of course you know what that is right that's Diamond Head and that's where the base of Kapiolani Community College is and of course we see here we're going to start seeing the sunset around pretty soon yeah okay so here's our sense of space um, and this valley here this valley um, you, you can see the mountain you can see the mountain edge right here okay the way this works is um, we got a whole bunch of valleys these uh, neighborhoods this one is called Manoa Valley and uh, and it's really a it's really a great community it's it's a uh, again these you know if you live here um, the weather is really really nice and it's shielded from a lot of the hurricanes and it's it's always wet it has water and, um, and it's just incredible uh, there's a thing about having neighborhoods that rain but not crazy rain you know it, it rains like maybe um, uh, it, it, it rains like maybe five minutes ten minutes a day and everything's good they're like about a million at least 